Uh, good morning, friends. It's lovely to be with you this morning as we reflect on the Word of God. And we'll be taking some time to pray together. I'm going to read from Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10 and reading from verse 38 to verse 42. Luke chapter 10 reading from verse 38 to verse 42. Listen to the word of God. The title of that portion of scripture is At the Home of Martha and Mary. Listen to the word. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, You are worried and upset about many things, but one thing is needed. Mary had chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Just up to that point, may the Lord bless to us the reading of his word now and always. Amen. Quite a very interesting piece of scripture that we have read in Luke 10, 38 to 42. What, what really is at the core of this text is how do we navigate our way uh, in life by making things that need to be priorities and make them the priorities and not to allow ourselves to be distracted not to allow ourselves to get worried about things and this in this story this is the important lesson that jesus is teaching here he is enabling martha and mary to understand what are the priorities? What are, what are the things that truly matters in life? So you know that, as we have read, the story revolves around two sisters, Martha and Mary. As they welcome Jesus in their home, Martha is described as being distracted. He's not only distracted, but he is worried about many things. He is busy serving and preparing for the Lord's visit. And as he prepare for the Lord's visit, Mary, her sister, chooses to sit at the feet of Jesus and listen to the teachings. So Martha come to Jesus, approach Jesus, to express her frustration, urging Jesus to tell Mary to come and help her. However, Jesus gently rebukes Martha and saying, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed. And indeed, only one. And Mary had the grasp and understood the significance of this one thing. Mary has chosen to be in a better space. And that privilege will not be taken away from her. And as we, as we understand, as we listen to what Jesus is saying, we, we understand that it is quite 
crucial for us to be able to prioritize. Not only our time, but our energy. And that prioritizing them, we focus on things that truly matters. And maybe let us look at a few things, some key points of things that, that can be helpful in life to know how to prioritize as well as how not to allow ourselves to worry about them because there is so much distraction on our path. The danger of distraction, Mary became so consumed with her task that she missed the opportunity to be present with Jesus. And it is crucial to examine our own lives and evaluate whether we are allowing distractions in life to take us away and take our focus away from God, from Jesus, and from things that truly really matters. The second thing that is, that is important that we learn is the value of being present with Jesus. Mary chose to sit at the feet of Jesus and to listen to his teachings. And this act demonstrated her desire to prioritize her relationship with God above everything else. Crucial lesson for us that we need to make time in our lives to spend time with Jesus. Prayer, reflecting and studying God's word, ensuring that we are attentive to him and in his presence. That is why I value my time with you that we are able to spend here. It's, it's a time where we are able to push away the distractions of life and really focus, focus on our Lord and hear what he has to say to us. The third thing that um, that we see is to understand the value, or let me say, is to, uh, to, to for us to be able to recognize where the worry of worry emanated from, where it came from. Martha's worry stemmed from her desire to please others and to meet the, the expectations of society. We need to understand that worries often originate from improper priorities in our lives because it's either we seek validation from the world rather than seeking the approval from, from our Father, from God. And the fourth thing that, that comes and that we see that this text lifts is that we trust God's provisions. Here Jesus assured Martha that only a few things are truly necessary. This reminder highlights the importance of trusting in God's provisions and focusing on the essentials rather than being overwhelmed by the worldly concerns. And the fifth thing that is also quite crucial is how do we, 
how do we balance their responsibilities? How do we balance our responsibilities? Through Jesus, we see that though he emphasized Mary's choice to prioritize him, it doesn't mean we neglect our responsibilities. Although Mary uh, focus was in the right place, it was also crucial that those responsibilities are carried out. It doesn't mean we neglect our responsibilities altogether. So we, we need to seek that balance uh, in our lives, balance of knowing that the, the proper and the right place in the list in, in terms of our priorities is with, with the Lord and with what the Lord has sent us to do. So we hold that responsibility together um with with our passion and our love for the lord very close to each other so we need to seek balance ensuring that we prioritize our relationship with god whilst we are still fulfilling our obligations as well and i i pray that Indeed, the Lord will enable us to, to be able to focus on right things and put our time by doing the right things. Amen. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we gather before your presence grateful for the opportunities that you offer to us to come together in this in this manner uh, to spend time in your in your presence and to seek guidance from your way as we reflect on the story of Mary and Martha. We are reminded of the importance of prioritizing our time and our energy on the things that truly matters. We confess that at times we have allowed distractions and worry to consume our hearts and our minds. Forgive us, Lord, for losing focus of what is essential. In a world that is filled with busyness and countless demands, it is easy to be pulled in different directions. We acknowledge the danger of being overwhelmed by the distraction that draw us away from you. Help us, dear Lord, to be vigilant and discerning, safeguarding our hearts and our minds against the things that divert our attention and hinder our relationship with you. Like Mary, grant us the wisdom to choose the better place, a better portion, to prioritize sitting at your feet, listening to your voice, and being fully present in your presence. May we hunger for your weight and find a solace in your teaching. Strengthen our desires to seek you first above all. Trusting that as we prioritize our relationship with you, everything else will fall into place. 
we lift up those among us who are burdened by worries and anxieties that weigh heavily on their hearts. We ask you, Father, comfort and that you will comfort them, that your peace will fill them and surround them. Lord, help them to cast their worries upon you, knowing that you care for them deeply. Remind them that no concern is too small or too great for you to handle. May they find rest and assurance in your loving arms as they feel your loving embrace. Father, we, we think particularly today of places where there, there are wars and instability. We think of and pray for Ukraine and, and Russia. Pray for Israel and Palestine. Pray for Afghanistan. We pray, Father, for people who are experiencing these upheavals in their lives. Things are up and down. And, and Father, they, they seek a place where they can find your peace and your calm and your solace. Finally, Father, as we navigate the responsibilities and the obligations of our lives, guide us in finding a balance Grant us that grace will be fulfilled, that we will carry our duties faithfully while keeping our hearts attuned to you. Teach us to trust in your provisions, knowing that you will give us what we need at the appointed time. Lord, we pray for your divine wisdom to enable us to discern our priorities clearly in the midst of a world filled with distractions, world filled with uncertainty. Help us to fix our gaze on you. May your spirit empower us to set aside worries, to hinder our growth and to hinder worries that hinder our growth and hinder our ability to present to you our very selves fully and reserving nothing of ourselves. Open our hearts fully so that we can receive your grace and allow that grace to flow into the lives of those who are around us. So that Father, through us, your warmth, your love, your grace will flow to the lives of others. We pray this because we, we trust in you. We know that you listen to us and that you are on our side, Father. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, we are grateful that you, you have been able to join and to log in on this call. It has been such a treat to be with you. And, and I pray that the Lord will bless you, and that the Lord will hold you, that the Lord will keep you, that the Lord will journey with you in this week. Bless you and we'll see you soon. Amen.